We just gave our tiny cabin's exterior a complete makeover. I can't wait to show you exactly what we did and what color we picked out. Hey there, it's Christina from thediymommy.com. In case you are new here, my husband Sean and I purchased a rundown 1957 tiny cabin on a lake and we are renovating it from the studs up so that it can be a vacation rental and a cottage for our family. Last year we did this with another 1959 cabin, loved how it turned out, so for some reason we decided to do it again. It's taken so long, we've had so many issues. Finally, we're at drywall and the exterior looks completely different. I showed you in the last video that Sean had completely reshingled the roof on the tiny lake house and he put all new windows in. We just ended up getting some inexpensive windows because we could not wait for the custom windows. If you missed episodes one through six of our tiny lake house renovation, I will link them down in the description box below. Definitely watch those to catch up. Now Sean is removing the siding around the window so that he can put some wide white trim there. I wanted to add that to give the exterior of the cabin more of a modern look. Now he's removing all of the old railings and we're gonna replace those with something new and something a lot more safe. We scraped all of the siding and I also sanded it. I did not record that, but I did sand it. And then Sean is giving it all a really good power wash to remove all of the dirt and the debris. I'm gonna head to Home Depot to grab some paint for the exterior of the cabin, the door, the trim, and the siding. I think I know which color I want, so let's go inside. I'm gonna grab some bare paint. The color that I had in mind is called Black Evergreen. And you might remember I painted the wall of our main bedroom in our camper this color. I really, really like it. It's in a really deep teal that is so beautiful. I think it's gonna look great with this copper patina mint color. I'm gonna use this for the front door and then just some pure ultra white for all of the trim. However, I found this color, it's called Alpine Trail, and from the chip, I think it's going to maybe be a little bit more classic colored for the siding. I like that it's a little bit more yellow, not so teal, and I'm extremely tempted just to get this one instead. Okay, so I did what I tell everybody not to do, and I completely changed my mind on the paint color, and I grabbed a whole other color based on just the swatch. And what I would recommend for you to do is actually do like a swatch test on the wall and at least a three foot by three foot square. I did not do it. I did not follow my own advice. So I'm really hoping that this color looks as good on the chip as it's gonna look on the siding. I just thought it would be nice to get less of a teal color, which is what I usually do, and just more of an actual classic forest green with a bit of gray in it. Now Sean wanted to use his paint sprayer to paint the exterior because he likes his paint spray gun better than mine. So he's going ahead and using that to spray. And I love how this is looking. It's so funny because it is extremely similar to the original color that's on the bottom of the cabin, which it was originally a forest green. The forest green that we chose is a little more modern. It has a bit more of a yellow tone in it. It's a little more subtle, so I think it's a great update to this cabin while giving a nod to the historical feel of the cabin with its original green color. We're painting the whole front in this color and Sean is also painting the roof of the porch in this color as well. And then I'm going in with a detail brush and making sure that we're cutting into all of the edges. Now Sean is cutting some of this trim for around the windows. I love how it adds a lot of character to the windows. We're adding quite a wide piece on the top of this front window to cover up all of the pieces that we had to remove. And then we're adding the same wide trim to the front door and the front window as well. Now Sean is removing some of the siding around that front door so that we can add the trim there too. 
A few weeks ago, we replaced all of the doors in the home and I love this Craftsman style door with the siding. I'm working with Micro Pro Sienna. They are a treated wood company here in Canada and they gifted me with all of this wood for our front porch. I've worked with them a few times on Instagram, so I thought this was the perfect collaboration. We are using their cedar colored treated lumber for the flooring of the porch. The old flooring was completely rotten, so we are swapping it out with this. And I gotta say, I love this cedar wood color with the green. To me, it's like magical forest cottage feel. And I think the two tones together work so well and the wide white trim just sets everything off. Let me know what you think of the color combo down in the description box below. I'm also creating a railing with this Micro Pro Sienna and we are wrapping the existing porch posts in it as well. And then Sean made sure to stabilize those porch posts to make sure that everything is safe. I love how this new railing gives the cabin more of an updated look. And then we also put this lumber on the stairs as well, just to tie everything together. I'm sanding and sealing the front of those porch boards to make them all tie in together. And this Micro Pro Sienna is gonna be perfect throughout all the seasons outside. It's gonna last for a really long time. So as a reminder, here is how our tiny lake house exterior looked before. And here it is now with a new paint color and a completely changed front porch. I really love how this color combo turned out. The paint color actually turned out really well and I love how the porch is now safe and it just kind of gives the whole cabin more of a warm, cozy vibe. I can't wait to do the rest of the exterior and show you the backyard and move on to the interior of this cabin. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this exterior makeover of our tiny cabin. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I would love to hear. Make sure to stay tuned for the next video in the series. We're finally going to be doing some room makeovers and I cannot wait to show you the finished rooms. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will enjoy watching next right in that top left-hand corner.